Hey guys, Life here from uh, iTech. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up and configure scan to email and all the email settings on the new uh, 8 series of Konica and Minolta copiers. So if you have a look at the uh, main screen here, uh, we'll go into utility. We're going to go into number 3, administrator settings. I'm going to type in the default password. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Hit OK to that. And we're going to go into number five, network settings. We're going to go into number seven, email settings. And we're going to go into number one, which is the email transmit, transmit or send email SMTP settings and these settings you need to get from your email or internet provider we just go you see there's page one out of six so there's a few settings that are required here depending on the type of uh, email server you have and we're going to make sure these are all on go to number two out of six and this is where you type in the smtp server address so we can just click on the host address and we're gonna can type in a host name or an IP address. So once you've typed that in there, hit OK, and go along to the other screens. There's a couple of other things that may be necessary. If we go to page three out of six, normally you wouldn't want to change any of this. Just leave that as the default with the uh, with the mail size and division. The timeout and server capacity, just leave those normally as the default settings. And uh, on the page 5 out of 6, this uh, commonly needs to be you know, updated if you're using SSL or secure email. And that will be in your email settings uh, what this, what should be set there. At the time for this particular setup, I've just got it set to off. And uh, page 6 out of 6. You can just leave those as default settings. I'll just go back to page five out of six there. If the secure uh, settings are used or if your email requires authentication, there's one more step and that is to go into the detail settings. So we click on there and this is where we enable the authentication. So that's off by default, change it to on if you do require authentication and when I click on the on button this is where you would put in the user ID and the password so just enter that in there hit OK close all the way out and you're now ready to test your email and test your email settings that's it 